tucked into the back corner of the auction house, we found this rare beauty. It was the color that caught our eye, but it was the owner's passion that really got us revved up. This is a 58 Ford Hetzel to the Ozar truck that has been made uh, three years only, 58 to 60. So uh, this one is particular because it had only 46,000 miles, original. Uh, the paint has just been redone since two years ago. A collector uh, in Montreal had the car in a garage since uh, a while, and uh, I bought that 10 years ago. So I had only 22,000 miles, original. Wow. Now he got 46,000 miles. The saga of the Edso is well documented. The butt of so many jokes, the car with the horse collar front end was named after the son of Henry Ford, and it only lasted three years. Martin says he has the last laugh now. The story about the Edsel was so bad, and they called the car a lemon sucker, just to tell you uh, what's what was that. And uh, he made only that three years, and it finished that because uh, after 2,050 million of dollars spent to develop the car, it was too much money, and they sell uh, not much car in three years. That's why they stopped that in 1960. They laugh about the horse cutter. They laugh about the, the front of the car, probably, and they call the car like that, just for a laugh. And uh, you had other name about the car, I don't remember by heart. So uh, that was the story. <laughs> you have to be a crazy guy about Hedzel. <laughs> when I saw the car for my first time in the garage in Montreal area, I came, uh, wow, look at that car, I never seen like that. Uh, I came in love with the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna open the hood now to show you the real engine. It's all original. It's a 410 cubic inches. Uh, what I can show you, the number of the valve cover is a 475 torque of pound. And uh, it's a 345 horsepower. You need a big engine like that to pull the car. And uh, it's fast too. Uh, I found an electric uh, whopper motor. That was an option in the time. I found in that uh, a friend of mine had that in a garage on the second floor. And uh, when I saw that, I came crazy. I mean, I telling you, I, you have to give me that and uh, we check it if uh, it was good and everything was perfect. Uh, and just fix it and uh, I've got two speed now, electric. It's perfect. It's not like the original one at vacuum system. This thing is particular to the Edsel. It's uh, they call that teletouch system. It's a push button in the middle of the steering. It's electrical. Uh, what else? The speedometer is wrong, and when I drove the car, the numbers turn. When I drove on the car, it's special. Uh, the rest of the interior is all original, even the carpet. And uh, you got uh, two full seat, and you call it that, the 4060, like that. And it's very clean, never been redone. Martin is hoping this rare beauty will fetch at least $25,000, or at least enough to buy a train ticket home. I came from Montreal this morning. I drove uh, seven hours on the 401, and uh, it's pretty. Yeah, it's a heavy car, and. Uh, it drove perfectly, no problems. The car for me, it costs about 25,000 bucks right now. And uh, it's the price. If you want to sell a car or buy a car like that, it's the price right now for the market. Exactly that. Uh, I have a uh, 51 Hudson and uh, that need uh, a frame of restoration. That's why I want to sell this car. Not because uh, I don't like that, but uh, I can't keep two cars, <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> Too much money in the same time. Eh? And if the cool paint job and the classic styling isn't enough, Martin has an ace up his sleeve. After all, they don't call it the push button boogie for nothing. I like uh, be different. So now I show you what I can do with this car. It's special and it's very different.
Have you seen something wild like that? 